वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल मैथ्स विद मुनीर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एंड टॉक अबाउट एंगल्स फाउंड बाई टू पेलर लाइन्स एंड ए ट्रांसवर्सर नॉट टू बी निगलेक्टेड आई हैव वन वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक इन विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल दैट वन टू लाइन्स आर पैर एंड अ ट्रांसवर्सल कट दोज टू पैर लाइन्स दैन वट टाइप ऑफ एंगल्स वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू हैव corresponding angles interior angle exterior angle vertical angle and opposites angle as well i have explained each and everything related to that in that video so what i am going to do for you i am going to link i am going to link that video in the description so that you can watch and learn from that video first okay so we are going to solve two questions over here this is question 1 and that is question 2 they are similar questions so what this question says it says we have two parallel lines ac and eg these are the two lines that are parallel to each other obviously by looking at first these two line we can say that they are parallel to each other no matter how much you extend either from this side right hand side or either from the left hand side they are never going to intersect each other that is one way and that is the proper definition that we do know about the parallel lines from which we can say that ac and eg are basically parallel lines there is one more uh, point from which we can get to know that how these lines are parallel if you look at the arrow have been given on line ac and line eg single arrow it means that these two lines are parallel so if you got this concept then you must be wondering that okay if these two lines are, are parallel by looking at arrow it means that these two line which is gc and fg are also parallel because of their double arrows i tried my best to make sure that these two line looks parallel as well so if they are not looking so please do not mind what you need to do you need to keep on focusing my voice and you have to assume that these two lines are also parallel okay so several angles have been given to us so that's a basic question and what we need to find angle cgf so first of all we are going to see where actually cgf is c g f this mark on g basically shows that the angle g we need to find it out okay so if we look at these two line i am going to start the solution by taking the first part if we look at these two line d f and c g we can say that these two lines are parallel so once these two lines are parallel so it means that their corresponding angles are going to be equal so 52 and angle g they both are corresponding angle so we can say that cgf is going to be basically 52 degree as well by the definition of corresponding angles okay so that was the first answer to this part now we need to find the second thing which is bcf so this is b this is c and this is f so if we look at this diagram carefully we will be realizing that b c f means that this is the angle that we need to find it out we already have this b c g this angle over here so how we can find out that angle so if we could able to figure it out somehow this complete angle from here to here and we have already 72 angle so from the complete angle we will be subtracting 72 and then we will be getting our result very easily now the question is that how we are going to get the complete angle first so for that i am going to solve that thing over here for the second part because we do not have space over here now okay now ac and eg are basically two parallel lines ac and eg are basically two parallel lines where we have this interior angle b c g i am going to write b c g plus c g f equals to 180 degree how angle c the whole so that's why i wrote b c g over here and then c g f so you need to consider that okay i'm going to draw over here so you need to consider that the only portion that we are taking from this diagram is this these are the two parallel lines and these two here and here these are our interior angle 
So sum of the interior angle is basically 180 degree. I have also explained that in detail in my previous video and you don't need to be really confused about it. It's just simply two parallel lines and these two are the interior angle. Now we know that we already found CGF which is basically your 52 degree. So what we are going to do, we are going to plug in the value. So BCG plus 52 degree equals to 180 degree over here. So BCG will be equals to 180 minus 52. So once you subtract 52 from 180, that is going to give you 128. So 128 degree will be your answer for BCG. So we just calculated the whole angle BCG, the complete angle which is 128 degree. Okay. Now we have the complete angle and we already know that this angle is 72 degrees. So simply like I said, you just need to subtract it and you will be getting that answer. So BCF, B, C and F, BCF will be equals to 128 minus how much that is 72 degree. Okay. So let me have a quick look on it that I did explain each and everything right. Okay. So yeah, that's perfect. So once you subtract the whole angle from 72, the 72 degree from the whole angle, then you will be getting that thing, which is uh, 70, 28, and then again 28, and that would be 56 degree. So we can write that this is going to be your 56 degree i hope that these videos are helping you well and making you understand how we actually have to keep going on with these type of questions now the only thing that we need to find out over here that reflects bdf and how we are going to do that okay first of all you need to understand that what actually reflects is so if you if we look at only the angle bdf B D F we know that this is the angle that basically forming the line B D F but once they said about reflex so it means that you have to go to the opposite so what it means that we need to find this whole angle from here to here so there are two ways to do that but we are going to go with the simple method so I am erasing this part because we don't need it anymore because we have the answer i have written the answer over here okay so i'm going to draw i am going to draw a parallel line over here okay now you know that let's name this line p and let's name, name this point as pq so line a c p q and e g are parallel to each other so th in these two lines, this is the transversal that cut and that was the point D, I guess. So that is the transversal BD that cuts these two parallel lines. So these two angles are going to be equal. If this is 46 and that is going to be 46 degree as well by the definition of alternate angle on a transversal line which cuts the two parallel. Okay, now if that angle is 52 degree, that is going to be 52 degree as well. How? Because now PQ and EG are two parallel lines and that is the only transversal that cuts them. Okay. So if we look at this angle and that angle, they are basically the alternate angle. So they are going to uh, cancel, uh, sorry. So they would be equal 52 degree. Now, how much that complete angle will be? 46 plus 52 which is basically 50 and 40 90 and then 98 yeah so this whole angle will be 98 we know that the complete circle always make an angle of a 360 degree so reflex b d f will be equals to from the whole 360 angle we will be subtracting how much 98 degree so just let me have a quick look on it and to see whether I did everything right or not. Okay. Now, this is perfect. 
so once you subtract 98 from 360 it will give you make it 100 then 1 260 and then 262 so that is the answer for the third part as well and we can write it over here i hope that you are uh, you got this question very carefully because i i tried my best to explain each and everything in detail so if you are still confused about this question if you don't know how i did uh, on a particular part you can pause this video you can rewind it and still confused you can always get back to me through comments or via e my email id and definitely I, I always try my best to be in touch with my students okay so we can remove this question because we are done with that I want you to pause this video over here for a minute and try to solve this question yourself because we are going to keep the same concept over here as well so do give a try to this question and then um, see my solution and your solution is matching or not okay so very simple we know that a b and c d are two lines they are parallel to each other as well so what we are going to do what we need to find out in this question because this is the unknown that we don't know c and that's what we have to find it out so i can do some construction in this question by drawing a parallel line over here a parallel line passing through this vertex and i can give this name as p and this point is going to be pq so a b p q and c d are basically parallel to each other and i can draw another line over here and i can name it as m and this is basically your n so i can say that line a b p q m n and c d these four lines are parallel to each other so by keeping the definition of a parallel lines and, and a transversal and the concept that we used it in the previous question if that angle is 28 degree just imagine that right now we have only line a b and p q and this is the only transversal that cuts them so it means that if this is 28 that is going to be your 28 degree as well okay so we do know that how much this complete angle is so if we subtract the complete uh, if we subtract 28 from the complete angle then we will be getting that angle very easily that how much it is so what i am going to do i am going to name this angle as x just for the sake of our simplicity so x degree that x is basically equal to 94 minus 28 so 94 minus 28 make it to the 30 and then 30 plus 60 90 64 and then we have 66 degree x so x is going to be 66 degree okay now if now we are going to consider line pq and line m and we got that that angle is 66 so these two angle this angle and this angle they are going to be equal as well so this would be 66 as well we applied the same definition that in two parallel lines if a transversal cuts them the uh, alternate angles are going to be equal and we if we look at now m n and c d this is 19 and that is going to be 19 as well okay so how much that complete angle will be just just say that this complete angle will be y so y will be equals to 66 plus 19 and that would be y equals to uh, 60 70 79 and then 85 i hope that i did the addition right so if somewhere i'm making mistakes please you need to ignore it and let me know in comment that can be happen because it's so tough to assume that your camera is basically your student and you got to make sure that this is understanding every single thing okay so why is 85 degree we just got that so what was our question the question was we need to find out the value of this c that how much this angle is so the complete angle would be 60 360 degree so c 
plus y that would be equals to 360 degree so we have the value for y which is 360 minus 85 and that is going to give you make it 100 then we have 260 and then plus 15 it would be 275 degree so that is the answer that would we, what that what we were looking for so i hope that this video was very helpful for you in order to get this question so if you are new to my channel please do consider subscribing and share this video with all of your friends so that it could reach to many students